big thing that I wanted to pass on to everyone is that I noticed very clearly that it's time for us to realize that we have more available to us than what we're using. I notice that there is a distinct focus on what everybody thinks and a distinct focus on what can be organized and the focus on the unknown is sort of sinking into the background. Not for everyone, but just in general. Why I talk about the focus on the unknown is because there are many, many things there that will work for us. Many sensitivities that we have that we're not taking notice of. Our ability to make things work is not now based on our physical ability. It's based on another set of senses and another set of energies, similar to those that children use, similar to the ones that we use in emergencies. The senses that tell us someone has entered the room, the senses that tell us something needs attention. It's more than intuitive, it is real. And the focus on what to do is really still the same as it used to be because of the word do. And much of what has to be done is to stop doing. Now that sounds back to front. And it is very frustrating when you can't see what you are actually achieving. It's only a matter of a very, very short time when what you know you have influenced maybe by sitting in your lounge chair, will show itself almost immediately. When our communication between one another is open and clear because we know that each one of us knows exactly what the other person desires. Not necessarily what they think, but what their hearts desire. And if a thought comes to another person from their heart's desire, you will pick it up almost immediately. So the same thing happens in reverse. If you work with your heart's desire, it will be picked up and action will happen, even though your logic cannot understand it. We will be working on the unknown and attempting to display to everybody the skills that we all have in making our world work in a totally different manner to what we have in the past. Where life is a total joy and where there is so much time to restructure ourselves that we don't have to do the restructure. And that also sounds back to front. But time is not as it seems. And time, applied correctly, will do the opposite to what we've been using it for now. Many people have said time heals. And if you play with that, you'll see 
you can adjust time and your healing will be shorter. Because time does heal. But if you make time long, healing takes a long time. If you make time short, healing is instantaneous. And if you make it really short, healing happens before the problem appears to you. And these are the things that we need to work on, not by doing, but by awareness. By playing with it, by having fun, by bringing those sorts of things to one another and experimenting and enjoying our interactions in such a different way that we can't even find a discrepancy between one person and another. 